and resetting it to win the whole tournament. I'm uh, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm predicting the uh, the Thorn Mafia Grand Finals. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't can see that. I don't no, think. I'm it, I mean, uh, uh, here we go. Yep. Well, Matt's got a, a win in winners. I think. I don't think he can beat Thorn. No, uh, I, I definitely. But I think he has enough momentum. Yeah, I mean, beating beating a Zoso is kind of kind of a big deal for him. Yeah. I mean, it's. I was actually. I heard outside that Matt beats Zoso. I was like, holy crap! He can. He's, yeah. He might win the whole tournament. I, I looked at the Chalonge bracket mm -hmm. and I was like, huh. I. Uh, I'm not convinced, but it turns out it's completely true. Yep. And that's. And now we got an even stock. Matt going for the up angle to avoid that forward air. Good spacing. Oh, that's an aggressive laser to come back on the ledge. Mm -hmm. That's a, a lot of stuff beats that. That's a really scary option to go for. It ends up paying off for him. And Mafia is just <laughs> power shielding everything. Yep. It's interesting. There, it, it seems like uh, Matt is playing super aggressive, but at the same time, the, the neutral game is taking yeah. forever, it seems like. They're, they're both kind of running at each other and just missing a lot. And Matt got his 40%, so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. But oh, there's Matt doing oh, that stuff. Yeah, the, the 40% mm -hmm. in this match, oh, mm -hmm. wow. Uh, the spike out of nowhere. No DI. I almost said that 40% in this matchup doesn't mean as much <laughs> as it could, and then he, <laughs> he gets wow. knocked down and he that, goes that, for it. That turn up successfully hit Mafia's shield three times. We got a good, oh, big damage. Mafia working from behind here. Yep. He's, uh, and that's uh, when well, Matt's feeling himself, man. No, I'm he telling you, he's really feeling he himself. He is. He is not dropping these combos. That's uh, I w every forward smash is hitting. It's... Uh, it's remarkable, actually. That's probably what it takes for Matt to win a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> if a, if his forward smash hit rate is more yeah, than sixty percent, exactly. he'll, uh, he'll just take That's the tournament. Pretty high. Free. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, whatever you got to do. Yeah, I mean, he's putting he's being really dominant right now with the up tilts as an anti air, and setting up so many combos. Now, at, at the risk of getting ahead of ourselves here, should Matt win this? Uh, Will will they end this game? Will they end up going back to Battlefield? Do you think? Are, is are these the kinds of sets that just end up being like the five games on Battlefield the yes. whole way through? It's like they they know what happens on other stages, and it's like I always talk to Mafia, and, and he always says, you know, you got to win on Battlefield. Mm -hmm. And I think he I think he thinks that because of this matchup. Really? I, I think so because we were kidding before. These guys play all the freaking time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And Mafia will probably bring, bring him to FD here. Yep. Um, or we might just go back to Battlefield. But I don't think we're going to any other stage besides I would, those I two. Would, I would think he would take the FD here. Mm -hmm. I mean... Oh. Okay. All right. Maybe this is also an acceptable choice. Mm -hmm. I mean, it turns out Peach has a lot of stages that she's very good on against this character. I mean... I don't really know this matchup too well. I don't um, either. I'm... The only, I mean, most of what I know about it consists of the fact that, I mean, if Peach gets a grab on Falco at FD, she can, she can take that to the bank. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's not. I don't believe it starts at zero. Uh, I think it starts a, like something like twenty or thirty, but uh, either way. He yeah, I've seen him do some sick stuff off of up throw on abso FD. Absolutely. But uh, I mean, I guess he just wants to go for the. He wants the platforms. He wants the you know the gigantic blast zones that'll make him impossible to kill, but... And well, let's see, it's really... Good. The first stock is going to be important because, like you said, it's going to take a while for Peach to die here. Yep. If she doesn't get, you know, random back air or something. So this is good. Yeah, having a lead in this matchup on this stage is actually pretty crucial. There's Ooh, a, a lot of matchups where the the person who takes the first stock has definitely has a big advantage. I think this is probably yep, one of them. Yep, big damage here. And there he gets him to 40. Yep, and now Ooh. Matt's off stage, and he he's just going to take that. All right, let's see if Matt can... Uh, Come back. And Matt comes back, and killing Peach at 165 is pretty much par for the course here. Mm -hmm. Mafia's oh, got to be wow. happy with that. Yeah, absolutely. Those those nares out of shield are doing absolute work on this Matt. Forte, the foot cancels. He'll catch Matt doing when he does his, you know, when he pushes the buttons a little bit too much. Yep. I mean, we saw it right there. Matt just kind of barreling at Mafia and not really paying... Too much heat yeah. to the wave dash back down smash. If you play any Street Fighter, it's almost just like uh, wake up, sure you can just like <laughs> stop. Yep. Like, but it could 
you know, he, he could wave dash back and then F smash. Although the lag, that's, the lag there is pretty. That's, that's that mad stuff right yeah. there. That's that was <laughs> a sick float cancel out of shield. Yep. Mafia, you're going with the moonwalks through power shield. Oh, this this should be a free ledge for Mafia. Oh, or not. Okay, let's see him. Mafia still has a stock lead, which he's, I won't say firmly in control of this game, but definitely advantaged. I think if he gets it around, if he gets Falco to like 60%, he should. This should, yeah, that yeah. should be enough to put it on. But Matt, uh, Matt's not interested in that. He's just kind of not putting the 60. screws to Mafia here. So now we got knockdown percentage. Now, knockdown percentage is huge for both characters okay. here. I mean, Falco is a nightmare when he gets knocked out. It's a nightmare for Falco yeah. to get knocked out, I should say. There goes another there. FC. There out of shield. Shield, yep. Oh, never see him use F-Tilt. Must have been a mistake. Yep. And every every time Matt just tries to pressure the shield too hard, he just gets Nared out of shield. So now we have him at 90. So oh. I think uh, you see this Matt is swinging because you know. Yeah, this is going to be hard to, Matt's to, gotta to stop bring the, back. Yeah, he's got to stop the bleeding Because he can't take trades anymore. No. And that's, it's almost inevitable. Yeah. So Matt has yeah. to. If, if Matt plays perfectly from here on out, he has to touch him three times. Yep. There's one. Um, I mean, I think okay. there's two. There's two. Yep. All right, well, here and he's now, got... Now we need the perfect third. Yep. But the perfect third is so yeah, hard to get. It really, on Peach, too. It might take uh, four hits here. You might have to get... Yep, and that... you got to get Peach to, oh, wow. you know, mid-percent. That, that was a nice tech. Another one. Second? Oh, and he doesn't need a third. And he gets back to center stage. That's, that's great. Second Theodore. I was about to say Theodore could be crucial, and he actually shined that. And took big oh, damage, here we go! So that this. So all of a sudden, we have a game on our hands. Yep. This Mac is. Got Mac got touches. This is. This has got Mafia to be. be feeling nervous. Yeah, this has got to be scary for Mafia because he was so far ahead prior See to this. stopping. There. Oh, good roll. I was expecting him to do the FC in there. Yep. And I'm sure yeah, that was too. That shine was out there. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, cover oh options. man. Yeah, see, Mafia's kind of fishing for forward airs now. Uh, but Shine, he's to the point. Oh, uh, no, he's living the. Mm, he's to angle. the point where Shine doesn't really get him anything, so landing mm. Shines is not a big deal anymore. It's more the next it's, back air yep. that either of them hits yep. is probably going to end the game. Next aerial, except for. Nope, next aerial, pretty much. Yep. Oh, and that's it. Oh, and the dot Theodore. eyes. That's a Theodore three times. <laughs> I know, that's what Mafia just said. Holy three times. I mean, sometimes Peach just uh, just gets three excellent turnips, and that's that's all you need to win, apparently. Peach and Luigi, man, you can be terrible at this game. Theodore, so, the, the dot eyes is so good. It's Nobody respects it. Yeah, it's 16%. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And big knockback. Yeah. We saw it there. Killed him at one. People always talk about Stitch Face, but the, the, the dot eye, I guess Theodore dot is, the, I, is the name. Dot eye is amazing. Mr. Saturn's amazing. Yeah, Mr. Beam Sword, I think, is the best item. Beam Sword's oh. unbelievable. Peach's forward tilt with the Beam Sword is out of this world. And when you chuck it, it just takes so long to disappear. Yep. So you can maintain control for a really long time. All right, yep. So this is where I was expecting Matt to go, and this is why it's so important to win game one. Yeah, I mean, now, now Mafia has to truck through all these counter picks, mm -hmm. and it really just gets a lot harder for him to take the set. Far from, you know, far from unfeasible, but it just... Having to beat Matt on Yoshi's, and where do you think the second counter pick that he'll break out would be? Uh... Probably stadium. Probably stadium? Yeah. And the janky Mafia, So air. Mafia has FD still, which is great. Mm -hmm. So if he wins here, then he'll probably have to come here again. But if he loses, at least he gets his FD. Yep. So oh, wow, this, game is, this game is super important. Yeah. This will decide who gets counter pick on the last game. Or potentially. Edge guard spot. Mm -hmm. Not going high for a lot of yeah. these. Yeah, Mafia is not like Mafia isn't going out and no hitting float. Matt out of those up B's as much as uh, as much as a, as much as a lot of people tend to do. Mm -hmm. I know he has them too. Maybe he's just nervous. I don't know. It could be. You would think he's not at this food. point. I mean, he's been here enough times that. Yeah. But it goes back and forth all the time between yeah, these two. Yeah, absolutely. Mafia, uh, Matt getting the better of Mafia at New Game Plus this Tuesday. Has uh, has there been a trend at all recently between the two? Have they been... Uh, um, well, Matt's actually been underperforming most weeks. 
Uh, so Matt usually doesn't make it that far. So is that because of, is that because of external uh, yeah. influences, or is that because he has not been playing well on the whole? Uh, it's a little bit of both. <laughs> but you know, he had a shot last week. He did really poorly the week before, and I think there maybe, we go. maybe people started doubting him, and he said, "Screw this! I'm <laughs> a good player." Yep. And he ended up winning the tournament. And those are the edge guards that I want to see from Mafia. Oh, yeah. I mean, every every time you see Falco recovering that close, you, you just got to go hit him. You can't. He back here to die so much. Ooh. Yeah, and there's right. the up air. So Play you get 20%. Playing him like Fox. Yeah, that. I think 20% is safe to say is not too much because Peach hits hard enough that, you know, just random stray hits will put that on. Same with Falco. The only problem is. Oh, is that going to be it? Listen, no, oh, he no, drops no, no, no. The, the down air. Laser. Gets, oh, my God. Oh, and then the shine off the top. Mafia's in the zone, though. Mafia's in the zone? You think he's going to take it back, going to bring it back to 3-2? I don't know. He's going to have to beat him on stadium. Well, he's got to beat him on final first. Yeah. <laughs> and looks like, all right, yeah, we're off to a good start. six seconds in, and he takes the first stock. I think Matt, um, I can see Matt expecting to lose this at this point. Not unreasonable. I mean, this mm -hmm. is, oh, man. Especially when Mafia is doing, it's been 20 seconds and he's two stocks down already. Mr. Saturn. I want to see a shield break. I came very close to some shield breaks today. Ooh, I thought we were going to see double down smash. Oh, really? See, all I wanted to see was a shield break. I almost broke PSI's shield in our match, <laughs> but I just couldn't get it. I was trying to force it so hard, it was not good. Oh, you see him pick up the <laughs> Yeah, he got the Mr. <laughs> he Saturn. He's, he he's still got it. Yeah. Mr. Saturn's hanging out. <laughs> He's still there, I bet. Is he? I think uh, he pooped. Oh, no, he's still there. Will Matt pick him up, though? That's yes, the key. Matt there will he definitely pick Matt him up. Matt definitely picks up Mr. Saturn. <laughs> a day. He picks well, up. That's true. That turns off Peach's shield, basically. If you have a Mr. Saturn in your hand, your opponent's shield, you just start chucking it. Because that thing just demolishes shield like nothing I else. Think Saturn might still be there. Uh, no, oh, he's he finally gone. He went home. We'll miss Ooh, him. Good but, uh, Ooh, I thought he was about to get hit by that. I did, too. Random turn up. You saw that thing. <laughs> Oh, come on. Now you're you see, you see he's going for the, the turn up on that Firefox. Yeah, it, which um, is working. You have to time it, yeah. Yeah, you, I mean, if you get it during the charge up, it, it gets beaten by the actual fire bird. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, if you can he's, hit him in the charge up, then it works out great. But uh, he's doing really well on this. Absolutely. This he, he, he doesn't even. Guards. Yeah. He, he doesn't even need the chain grabs at this point. I mean, I. No, he didn't just use about them once. Just about every time he's grabbed Matt, it's just okay. been like a, a back throw or something to get him off the stage. You can see Matt there is just probably probably wanted to get it to game five. Like, yeah. let's go. No, no one can blame him for this that. This is my really. counter pick stadium. Yep. You, get, you get your counter pick. This is what you should have won on. Oh, okay. This is scary. I think uh, this is super scary for Matt. Yeah, but because Matt I mean, does stupid stuff sometimes the, on this the stage. The classic, pla yeah, that's very true. The classic platform down smashes are always uh, something and, to look out and for. And you see, that neither of them are afraid to fight each other on the platforms. Yep. Nice. Yeah, the up tilt pressure is oh, pretty man. brutal. See, he's that platform there kind of. Oh wow! Ooh. That was an that was excellent, excellent. And shaking his head. Good roll. And the down tilt. That moves so good. If you ever look at the hitbox on Fox and Falco's down tilts, they are unreal because they are disjointed for the entire range. It's disgusting. I'm pretty sure they both outrange Marth's down tilt. Like they are that good. Huh. Random spike. Oh, oh, the reverse forward. This is going to be rough. Nope, no, he goes angle. straight for the ledge yeah. again. Mafia expecting him to go high. Yeah, he's stopped going high so much. He's, he's mostly just... He's going to the phantasm height and then just going with, uh, with the up B straight to the mm -hmm. ledge. Oof, this is scary. This could get ugly. Yeah, oh. Ma Mafia is not reacting to the shield pressure as well as he was in the last game. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's he's he there he just did a shield grab when he probably yep. should have rolled. I mean, it's hard to get away from him. Especially on this state. Oh, the jabs and down airs. He's seen all the techs. That was, okay. that was an edge guard he needed to hit. Yeah, seriously. And so now he's like, yeah. And that's another stock, so that's a three to one advantage here. <laughs> Man. <coughs> okay, he needs this. He yeah, didn't get it. Ledge. Yep. Again, throwing the turn up first. Yeah. 
I guess he was a little bit too far, but I wonder if there gets to a point where uh, Mafia realizes that the turnip's not working. There again. Like, yeah. there again, and, and he just yeah. kind of oh, goes stitch. for the ledge. Oh, the stitch. This this is the great equalizer. Mm -hmm. Mafia's abuse with the stitch, too. Oh! Oh, my goodness. That was some of the sickest shit I've ever seen. That was absolutely unreal. <laughs> that was so cool. Um. Neutral air? Oh, close enough. It's going to go down. Yeah, Matt's, Matt's just going straight to the ledge just about every time, and Mafia's giving it to him. Or at least going downwards, not necessarily to the ledge, but... Uh, he's... Mafia's yeah. shaking his I head. I think at this point, Mafia's going to have a tough time winning this. He's... He's not reacting to the shield pressure the way he needs to. He's dropping not easy edge guards, but edge guards that, that he needs to need hit. That you need to hit, yeah. Man, he, he's, he's staying. There okay. we go. He was staying stuck in his shield for such a long time just a minute ago. And that's, I mean, against Falco, it's tempting because the pressure is real. But, I mean, now he's cornered on FD. And you don't want to jump into that. Uh, wow. Well, I mean, this is still. It's doable. Yeah. Uh, he needs to not. You know, as as terrible oh, and oh, wow. there it really is. Yep. The slow get up, and that's going to be the whole hundred eighty percent forward smash, which usually kills if you're Falco. <laughs> like I'd say, a good sixty percent of the time, if you forward smash somebody at one hundred eighty percent, they'll die.